know, yeah, you, 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 you got to, you got to get, it won't be no Dexter Boy, no Nas. You got to, you got, you can't, if you don't respect the OGs, then fuck you. You got to respect Snoop, Ice Cube, come on. You just, we just get facts, right? You got to respect the Wu-Tang, you got to, you can't, you got to respect them. Mob D, you got to respect that. Red man, Matt Demi, respect them. Come on. No, we speaking facts, bro. Got my brother from Canada with us, big bro. You know what I'm saying? Big bro, we got our boys from Canada, man. This, this, this interview is going worldwide. Ooh. I was always hooked on like Nintendo. I was always hooked on Nintendo. My whole life. I was raised, I was raised a almost like a Nintendo 64 kid. That's what I was always raised as so, I mean, it's funny, like 2017 I got a Nintendo Switch. That's that's really kinda like weird. And like <laughs> And it's like the most like like Games and, and Nintendo give you games like Mario Kart. It's a classic. You can never forget Mario Kart. Play like yeah. I come from here. You know, Nintendo 007 was our thing. I got next. You know we had that. Everybody got the controller and their full box on that one screen. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh Dexter. Come on. Of course he's Dexter. Is we is that De yes? It's Dexter. Why? Cause he had my name, and once I found out that Dexter, it was a Dexter cartoon, I was geek, and I was always excited because I always thought Dexter was me. When I was a kid, I was like, "That's me," but Dexter was the same color skin as me. But I was like, "That's me," but Dexter was my favorite. When Dexter's best friend took Dee Dee, when when the, when the, when the boy took Dee Dee from it, like when when he no when when Dexter best friend kissed Dee Dee. And he saw that, he, oh my God, oh my God. He did so much dirt to Didi, like, he couldn't believe it. Like, he did, no, he did dirt to both of them in that episode. He did a lot of stuff to them. He went to the laboratory and did some stuff. <laughs> if I was king, I, I just want to stop the, man, stop the violence. If I, if I, was, if I was king, if I, like, if I had the voice, to talk, to the world see it, I want everybody to just have fun. Let's have some fun. Let's just have some fun and just look. Let's be together. If we be together, we great. We can let, listen, I promise you, North Korea, everywhere around the world, if we all just come and just live, we all know we're gonna die because of age, cool. If we all could just, just be together and just live our life and be with our families, just keep on you know, making babies and have, live our life, happiness, man. I really just tell everybody, just be happy and just live. And let's just put the, the nukes down, put all this shit down. It's just, just like, it's destroying everybody's lives, bro. Like, like y'all, y'all from Canada. I love y'all, bro. Because the, like, the, the vibe and we, I don't even know y'all, but it looks like I knew y'all because look how we having this conversation, you know what I'm saying? So. Love is a big word, and and if, to take you to say you love a motherfucker and to love a motherfucker is a lot. You know what I'm saying? But I feel, love to me is bro when you just like taking care of everything and just making sure everything is great. Make sure the family is just, for sure it's great. That's real love. So that's why I call. It. That's why you ask me. We ain't, you ain't asking trees. You ain't asking. Can't be asking Dex. That's why I think love is, bro. The, the real shot I wrote was I, I never seen it coming. I remember that song. I ain't never had a thing. I, 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 never, I never seen it coming song. I, 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 come on. I, yeah. How that song come on? Never had a thing. I'm dream. I know. Remember the day I. How the fuck it come on? <laughs> yeah. I swear to God, man, I never seen it coming. Now these bitches on my dick cause a nigga trying to get a little money, baby girls, you funny. 
Oh my God! There we go! There we go! There we go! Hold on! Hold on! I, I say, I swear to God, man, y'all, I never seen it coming. Now I bitch on my dick, cause a nigga started to get a little money, baby girl, you funny. Pop pills, yeah, I'm scummy. Sean got sharp jumping, like some bunny. We just trying to get some money. Baby girl, nothing dummy, everybody know me. Ooh, that's a deep song right there, I ain't gonna lie. I got my feelings on that one. I think I, I really cried when I did that song on my son. On my mama cried for that song. I ain't, that's, that's, that's some real spiel right there. That whole song was real. And I walked down Chicago, downtown, did that song. Proudly, it's it, everybody, bro, got their own town, bro. Everybody got right now. If you, act, I love this hip hop music stuff right now. It's so cool. It's beautiful. And then on top of that, on top of that, Jay Z come back with the four four album. Come on, the legend coming back out. Ooh, that's a come on, man. Shout out to Jay coming back. That's a big up to Jay coming back real hard. 2017 with four 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 album. Come on, my whole life is through his whole album. Um, whew. this that album. I don't, I don't think people probably even like really, cause the new wave is so much of energy. I don't think people got time to even hear a, a Jay Z song, cause Jay Z will give you that. You know what I'm saying? That calm. You 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 you, know I mean? you, you argue that energy. You I, you I got that. You feel me? Boom. But Jay Z more of that. You go go get them. You know what I'm saying? You go um. Get your grown man on, you feel me? Exactly. You gonna really wanna hear it. You go, but me, you go, you go move. You go, yeah, you go have fun. All y'all, you go grab your homies, you go shake your dreads, you know what I'm saying? But Jay Z go give you a story. That's a legend too, so come on, baby. If you wanna hear real music, go listen to 444, go listen to Damn, go listen to Nas. If you wanna be entertained and be hyped, and, go listen to me, go listen to Lil Pump, go listen to, you know what I'm saying? Go listen to, um, um, Uzi, Cardi, you know what I'm saying? That, that's the new wave. You know what I'm saying? We want to listen to some real music. Go listen to Mary J. Blas. And if you want to listen to some music, go listen to 444. That's music. That's real music. What we do is just entertaining. It's all, it's, we just having fun. I thank God for I'm getting a check for having fun. I'm, I'm being myself at the end of the day, bro. It's beautiful. This interview, I'm being myself. Yeah, and, and what's so crazy? Rich told me Kendrick, I never met Kendrick in person, never, never, ever. But Rich told me Kendrick, like, you know, Rich and Kendrick fuck with each other hard, heavy. And Rich told me Kendrick, like, like me and shit, like, fuck with me. To, to hear that, you know, it's just amazing. And, you know, I, I, I like, bro, I looked up to Rich, man. You know, Rich was rapping way before me. I looked up to Rich, and it's a blessing, like, get signed to him. I know that question's gonna come too, but I said, we could talk about it. It's gonna skip to it. It's a blessing to, to sound with, with Rich, you know what I'm saying? Like I always tell people, look what Lil Wayne did to Drake. Now look at Drake and Wayne. That's, 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 come on, that's, we speak fact, we speaking facts, right? Look, look what Lil Wayne did to Drake and look at Drake and Wayne now. So, you know, and what you do is how you do it. If you, I believe in myself, you know what I mean? I believe in God too. I never, I never met Wayne. Wayne, bro, man, legend. I know every, every motherfucker Wayne mixtape album you wanna, how you wanna come, man? How you wanna come, dedication one? How you wanna come, dedication two? How you want three, how, what's up, what's up? What's up? What, come on, how you wanna come, man? At Louisiana, how you wanna come? The greatest DJ in the world! Okay, I split that, get back, I'm intact, in fact, right, come on, man. Are you sick like stick jack, inject? Even if every day I feel my impact as I slam pack over the words that's on my page line. I don't write, I get high and ignite. I got a serious mental plan and dental plan, and you don't want to bring a giant out of a mental man. These guys are getting bites in the gorilla's hands to a side of the nigga face like I don't give a damn. Even if he with his mans and them, I put his plans and them's all of his plans and Tim's. He was going apes it. <laughs> and nigga say, and fortunately, I grew up like the Sims, but instead, I grew up before I blew up. I spent eight and put two up, because you never knew what I had to do what. Do you do that? That nigga wouldn't say anything. That's the goat. <laughs> That's the goat, man. Wayne is the goat, man. And man, shout out to Wayne on his, on his, on his recovery. It's, it's, he has some, like, I have saw some stuff happen to Wayne in Chicago, but God is good, he recovered. Great recovery. He back healthy. 
Shout out to Wayne, man. Pledge you, God is good. You know what I'm saying? That's a legend. Talk about Wayne, baby. That's a legend, now. Oh, uh, I was in Chicago. I think I was in, we was in the hundreds. I mean, my, we were down in my cut. We was in, in the basement and shit. All my folks and us there playing, car, like playing cards and shit. And some girls like 13, like 14 years old, they lived next door and shit. They, they came, they came like chill, chill with us. I'm like 10, bro. I was doing, I was having, I don't know what the fuck. I, was, I don't know what the fuck. I look over there. I see Tori over there just humping. Hey, pants down. What the fuck? What the fuck? Hold on. He come here, come here. I go over there, I swear to God. I pull my dick out. <laughs> I pull my dick out now. I see her, her cuckoo all hairy and her pussy all hairy. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? He told me, put it in her, stick it in her. I'm like, where? She grabbed my dick, stick it in herself. I fucked her around too. And my cousin fucked her around. So my first time I lost my virginity, I fucked her around. That was some nasty raw house shit. <laughs> this dick clean now. <laughs> Yo, I can't believe I just told y'all that shit. <laughs> oh, my mama. If my mama can hear this shit, be like, you would know. Bro, we daily got our ass whooped from that stuff. Bro, they came downstairs. I swear to God, look, the girls had her pants down. And man, I don't know who came. I think, I think uh, one of our cousins, somebody came downstairs and spotted us. I was on the wall humping her. Man, we almost got our ass two up, boy, I swear. They kicked their ass out, they had to go back next door. And right now to this day, I swear to God, them girls, I go to the hunts and see they, they be like, I just be looking and and I'll and I'll bring it up like my first time I'll fuck you. And we they just be laughing like you crazy. I, bro, I never changed. I always had this in the South. Like, Man, I never only thing changed, bro, is the hair. I got my hair grow a lot. And it's colorful. I never changed, bro. I've been wearing different color shoes. I just I got man. I just be having fun. I think I be having extra fun now. <laughs> bro, I can't believe I told y'all about that fucking story, yo. I've been a young wild boy. Woo! This motherfucker here boy been everywhere. This dick been in Canada? Nah, I ain't been in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> My girl over there looking like boy better shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm that plan, baby. My my message to the youth is, bro, is stay humble, stay stay who you are. Never, 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 never let this internet destroy you, cause it, it will take it will take advantage of of people these nowadays. You know what I'm saying? Uh, especially like the the new wave, lean zen. It's a trend. It's a it's a trend. But but the message to the, to the youth is just. Don't don't let that trend destroy your dreams. That also can destroy your dreams. My message to the to the youth, that's especially people that look up to me, believe in God. Believe in yourself. Take care of yourself first, and take care of your family. Believe in yourself, man. That's my message from my heart. Believe in yourself, and you'll go a long way. Believe in yourself. Believe in you. You can go a long way. Don't don't wait on the, don't sit on the next motherfucker. Don't. don't Believe in yourself and God, you can go a long way, and that's it. And really do it from the heart. Don't do it, could look for something. Don't do it, ask God, oh God, I give you, and God give you that mansion. You don't ask God, you don't keep praying, He take it from you. Do it from your heart, and just really believe in yourself. Next, we on Martiality, and it's been a blessing. Shout out Martiality, man. My family, Canada to USA, we lit. We always lit. Martiality, I love y'all. Next time. Montreality Show. I always try to put a positive vibe through my story, no matter what. Because I always want everybody to feel uplifted. And I don't want you to never look at me and be like, oh yeah, I could talk about roaches on the wall. I could talk about all that I've been in the hood, but I want to uplift the roaches. Let's make them roaches to, you feel me? Lambos and, you feel me? And them things, you dig? And turn it up, you feel me? I had a swag on it, word.